Every day, new generations are learning about the 9-11 attacks and the heroes of Flight 93. So much of it starts here at the Learning Center of the Flight 93 National Memorial. I found that there are so many different ways that young people are learning about the 40 men and women who made their stand on America's darkest day. I think this was 15 years ago. Jerry Schweiger remembers exactly where he was on that horrifying morning. It was a beautiful day in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It was a beautiful day and our secretary was listening to the radio and she said, I just heard of a plane crashing into the uh, World Trade Center. Back then, little did Schweiger know that minutes later, over a field in Somerset County, a plane full of heroes would help define that day. I honestly feel that um, the people of Flight 93, the, they helped take over the plane. I, I've, I've always told them that I feel like they've saved the world. Um, that if it had hit the Capitol building or the White House, just it would have been catastrophic, even more so than it was. Kelly Zayer came to the Flight 93 National Memorial from another Somerset County, one in New Jersey. She brought her two young sons so they could learn about the heroes who died here that fateful day, two years before her son Tristan was born. I think it was kind of interesting to learn how the people were when the plane was hijacked and to see how they reacted. Education has become an important part of the Flight 93 National Memorial. Right over that hillside. A pilot program launched this year invites students to the memorial and teaches them about the history of September 11. The height of that wall up there. And how the memorial came to be. It's about a two hour drive for the kids on the buses and most of these kids probably wouldn't get here. So through this grant and this opportunity, we're able to reach the next generation of park stewards. Anything that the program starts in the classroom. 400 students from the Baldwin-Whitehall School District were taught about what it means to honor someone. Then, during a two-hour visit at the memorial, the students learn what the site is all about. It's wonderful to read about it, but boy, when you come out here and you see this national memorial of, of respect and honor for these heroes, it's a whole different feeling. UPMC Health Plan helped fund the visit, which was done as a partnership with the Friends of the Flight 93 National Memorial and the National Park Service. Right out on that field is where where everything happened and they get to see the field and they get to learn more about the individuals on the plane and, and their sacrifice. I'm excited to be here because my dad used to be a Marine. This is something, an event that our students were not born at the time and it's very difficult for them to understand um, this tragedy that has happened. Flight 93 crashed in the heart of the Shanksville Stony Creek School District. I show the kids what's... Teacher J.P. O'Connor says even though his students now weren't alive on September 11, 2001, he still tries to connect those attacks against America with their lives. The only thing I do when I really try to teach this to my children in, in fifth grade is I make it like I do with a lot of my social studies, I make it as personal as I can. O'Connor asks his students to research the heroes of Flight 93 and has had the family members appear in the classroom. He says teaching this history preserves the memories of the courageous passengers and crew who lost their lives. I think all school districts should teach about it because uh, it's going to affect their history from, from that day on. It's a lesson young people from around the world should never forget. It makes me feel sad that this event happened and so many innocent people passed away. But um, also, like, they were heroes and they tried to stop the plane. And they were really brave for doing that. Next on Chronicle. I remember dropping the cell phone. I remember screaming in the church and crying. Their loved ones became heroes in a moment that changed the world. How, how can you comprehend something like that? The memories shared by families and how the heroes of Flight 93 will continue to be honored. Next on Chronicle.